Welcome back to Celebrity Deathmatch. Up next is our main event, the Battle of the Teen Scream Queens. Nev Campbell versus Sarah Michelle Geller. But first, let's check in with Geraldo Rivera, who's on the trail of a serial killer on the loose inside the arena tonight. Geraldo? Thanks, Nick. I'm just about to enter this darkened room, which may contain the serial killer. Okay, here goes. Oh, my God. This is definitely the secret lair of a sick and twisted individual. There's pornography all over the desk. Pornography on the bookshelves. We're even finding pornography hidden under other pornography. Uh, Geraldo, uh, that happens to be my office. Well, I'm afraid I'm getting the signal to keep things moving. So let's go now to our main event. It's the Battle of the Teen Scream Queen. After what's been happening here tonight, there's only two of them left alive, and those two are looking to make it one. In the red corner, the reigning champ and survivor of more Wes Craven movies than any other actress, Scream Queen, Nev Campbell. And in the blue corner, the up-and-coming challenger, TV's Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Sarah Michelle Geller. Okay, ladies, the rules are no different for you than they are for men. Because there are no rules. Now, let's get it on. Ha! A steak. TV's Buffy must have picked it up from the set of her show. Usually, I only use this on the undead. hey -ya! This way, not only will I kill you, but I can make sure that you don't come back as a blood-sucking freak. Yeah? Well, Sarah, uh, you're not the only one around here who knows how to fight with a steak. Wow, a weapon uh, yeah. and a visual pun from Nev Campbell. Very clever. Well, Johnny, there is a lot at stake for her here. <laughs> Ooh, not so clever, Nick. I'm not getting it. The Diamond speaking. Hello, Nick. What's your favorite scary TV show? Do you like it when the murderer... What I don't like is people calling me during the main event. Nick, is that the murderer? Oh, I suppose it was. Why don't you star 69 now? <gasps> you shut your filthy mouth, Johnny. I mean, trace the murderer's phone call back so we can find out who he is. Oh, oh right. Good idea. Hi I can hear the phone, Nick. Where's it coming from? It sounds like it's somewhere right beside the ring. It's him, the hairy duck. He's the killer. Oh, my God! <laughs> well, I was expecting a guy in a hockey mask or a doll with a big head and sharp teeth, not someone disguised as a mascot. I hope those young actresses can handle the disturbed individual inside that costume. Come on, man. Let's take this sick duck. Huh. And the girls have teamed up to tear up the psychopathic murderer. But wait! He's using that platypus costume's tail to cruel advantage, Nick. I just can't wait to see who this creep is. Looks to me like the weight of that outfit might be slowing him down a bit. On the contrary, Nick, that foam rubber suit can withstand tremendous punishment. <laughs> And the platypus man is down and out. And the winners are Nev Campbell and TV's Buffy. Those two really proved to be a couple of tough chicks, Johnny. They sure did, Nick. Now all that remains is to find out the identity of this killer they have so thoroughly defeated. Uh, Looks like the head of the costume is stuck. Uh, Who could it possibly be under there? Uh, I think uh, they've almost got it. Why, the killer seems to have laid an egg? Nick, you fool, that's no killer. That's a real platypus. Wow, he's a big one. Why do you think he was beating on those innocent girls? The platypus is not aggressive by nature. He was merely acting in self-defense. I see, but if that platypus didn't make those calls, who did? This has been my favorite scary TV show, especially because no one was smart enough to catch the killer. You see, it's easy to plant a phone on a platypus. They just think it's a very hard fish. Sir, as a deathmatch commentator with a degree in journalism, I demand that you reveal your true identity. Now, why would I want to do that? 
to bring an end to this savage nightmare. <laughs> Fool, didn't they teach you anything in that crazy journalism school? Always plan for a sequel. Until then, good fight, good night.